The U.S. government has recently suffered some major hacking attacks, supposedly from evil foreign governments, making our nation's sensitive data extremely vulnerable. But it's not just supposedly evil foreign countries putting our data at risk, it's our government employees themselves as well. Because apparently, a lot of them use their .gov email addresses to sign up for stupid accounts across the web. Security intelligence firm Recorded Future recently released a report that details how they scoured through tons of data dumps by hackers on the web. I'm sure you've heard reports about how hackers break into websites and then they dump online the email addresses and passwords of those websites' users, right? Well, Recorded Future went through all those email addresses that were compromised between November 2013 and November 2014, and they found that more than 200 .gov email addresses for workers from 12 different federal agencies are in those dumps. In other words, .gov email addresses and matching passwords are just sitting there on the web waiting for anyone to use them to hack into our government systems. And these government email addresses aren't hidden on the dark web or anything. They were taken from hacks from very commercial, well-visited sites like bike share programs, hotel reviews, neighborhood associations, and other very insecure sites. So some of our government workers actually used their .gov email addresses to sign up on hotel sites so that they could log in to write a stupid hotel review. And since those insecure sites were hacked, that means the government email addresses with matching passwords are all just out there, just because our federal workers wanted to give their two cents on hotels or sign up to ride bikes. So now all of those federal staffers and their email address are just sitting targets for phishing emails that are great first steps in an all-out attack on an agency. And considering these workers were dumb enough to use their .gov email addresses on stupid sites, it's safe to say that they'd be dumb enough to click on a phishing scam. Worse, they're probably dumb enough to use the same password for their work email as they do on the stupid sites they visit, so that hackers don't even have to lift a finger. They can just walk right into our government servers. So forget about worrying over Chinese hackers like our media would like you to. If you really are concerned about our government's data security, just worry about the idiots working for the government themselves. I'm The Resident. Tonight, let's talk about that.